What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! Got to have a little coffee because my voice is not back yet. But today we're going to be talking about a meme opportunity on Solana blockchain by the name of Rocky. And I'm going to teach you a few things about what I look for in opportunity for making gains by swing trading. I look for the easiest charts to read where you can see predictable patterns, standard developmental patterns where you know right off the bat, okay, if it's done this, it'll do it again. And when we see this certain formation that I will show you, it presents an opportunity for a swing trade. Now, before we begin, I must warn all of you that this is absolutely not financial advice. Yay! Oops. <laughs> that was the wrong. Let's try that again. This is not financial advice. Okay, that's better. Uh, if you are a nitwit dangling or a low IQ viewer, then please leave. This is not for you. I don't want to hear any silly complaints about Rocky's a scam or that's a meme coin. Da, da, da. I don't need to hear that. If you are an active swing trader or want to learn how to do it, then you may watch and participate. All right? So let's move it right along. I've been promising this video for quite some time. Now we will get into the details. So first of all, let's give a little bit of background on this particular meme. <clears throat> and you all know memes are for fun. They do present investment opportunity, but these projects aren't saving the world, okay? Like I said in the last meme video, we're not out here trying to freaking save the manatees, okay? We all know that. It's common knowledge. So again, I don't need any comments uh, educating me on the fact that this is a scam. I understand it's a meme coin. One big benefit of meme coins is that you can learn a lot about swing trading with small amounts of money. All right, don't go out there getting a second mortgage and throwing it into a meme. I know there's a lot of degenerates out there who do that and it's very dangerous. You will lose your butt if you throw large amounts of money, significant money into memes. Let's jump to the <clears throat> Rocky website. So here is the Rocky website. Do I have this maximized? No, okay, there we go, it is maximized. And if you peruse your way through the Rocky website, you will be able to pick up on all these details that I will read to you. I've summarized them in my notes to save you time. Put on the reading spectacles. <clears throat> so this is a Solana-based meme coin. It is a fair launched project. I like that aspect of it because that means there's less of a chance for a rug. In fact, I don't know how you could rug pull a fair launched project that also has other certain criteria. All right. And so it was named after this dog owned by Raj Gokal, which is one of the Solana founders. Here's the dog. And we don't even know if he started this or not. And it doesn't make any difference. It's a meme. It's a theme. It's an idea. It's supposed to tug at your heart, get you excited about jumping onto this bandwagon about something that can gain social value. The more social value it can gain, the better it performs as a cryptocurrency. The total supply of this project is a cool 1 billion. It's very similar to the Miro tokenomics. There are no taxes or unreasonable fees that are taken out by this project for trading the Rocky token. There are 0%, none, no deductions on your transactions to buy, sell, send, whatever. And something else that catches my attention, it has a revoked contract. That means that no future tokens can be added to the total supply of this project. That's something that I look for, which is an anti-rug pull criteria. 
the revolt contract and that it was fair launched. I look for that, okay, for safety's sake. The liquidity pool has been burned or locked forever. That's confirmed on uh, some of the research sites that I use. There are several out there. Um, Token Sniffer is my favorite. <clears throat> it has an actively engaged community, not nearly as big as Miro, but there is an active community. You need that for a meme coin. It does have charitable causes, all right? So they are going to donate money or, you know, that's neither here nor there. And what's interesting is they've got some other aspects that kind of add a little bit of excitement to the project, including NFT drops, limited edition merchandise, and perks that they're developing for Rocky holders. So that's all good and well. You can run through this website, which is nicely done. I like the artwork. At least they tried. I mean, if they at least put in a little effort to make the website functional, it's always up, it's got good code, that's a plus, all right? So you can scroll through here and read all of this information at your leisure. So some of the features that are listed include Rocket Dex. So they're gonna have their own Dex, um, a decentralized exchange uh, that is coming out. I don't think it's ready just yet. They're going to have this uh, Bank Rocky. This is the next one here where you're going to be able to do staking and earn rewards. There's locking available for liquidity pool token. Um, and they also do token vesting. All right. You have Rocky NFTs, Rocky tools, and they do have a Telegram bot. So that's kind of cool that they developed the Telegram bot. The only strike against this project that I could find is that there is no transparency on the ownership team. Okay, so that's the background of Rocky. Now let's flip over to another website and let's talk about the chart and why I chose to throw a little money into this at the wrong time. I invested way too early. I thought we had a rising base coming up right here and I bought my first little bag at like a cent okay and it broke that ascending line and i should have known i should have researched this but i got ahead of myself because everything was moving up this chart shows us at a current price of 0 0.0017 i bought in at 1.3 cents i did a dca purchase at 0 0.0024 and i'm going to do one last dca very soon because i think we found the base now, what I mentioned before <clears throat> is that memes have very predictable chart patterns and they have the aspects of what I look for, what I look for, for highly tradable projects. And here's what it is. This is distribution mode, phase one. All cryptocurrencies and stocks go through four phases, all right? Four phases of development in their price. The first one is accumulation okay so looking on this chart this is the end of the distribution phase that's four Acc accumulation is when people are quietly buying okay and when you see an accumulation period that makes this nice saucer pattern see that saucer that's what i look for i love a saucer okay if it looks like a something you could put a little coffee cup in here that's a nice formation Phase two comes after accumulation when the saucer is done, and that's consolidation. We usually have a bump in price, which is what you see right here, where it jumped up to 0 0.004, and then it corrects. That's consolidation. And then it formed this big wedge pattern, okay? You can call this a bullish pennant. So consolidation is when volume jumps up. Do you see the volume down here in phase one of accumulation? It's nil. Do you see the volume that bumps up here? When that bump happens, you know you're in consolidation. That's phase two. Phase three is markup. That's when we go into a very bullish phase and you skyrocket. Okay, so we jumped all the way up here to 2.5 cents. Phase four is distribution. And that's where you get this whipsaw, where we get whipped around. Violent movements of price as people are selling and panicking. 
the insiders have already unloaded during this phase here of markup. And now you've got this whipsaw effect, which happens when the people left holding the bag are panic selling and then think, oh, it's still going. Panic buying, panic selling, panic buying all the way down until we end the distribution phase and run into another consolidation period. So what's interesting about meme coins is you can run all four phases within a short period of time. We see that we have clearly, plainly all four phases of this project that started from December and ended in February. That's what? December, January, February, three months and you had a nice progression of all four, all four phases that normally take four to five years to progress. That's why memes can be fun. Um, now let's zoom in a little bit, and we see this bouncing around. I think we're in accumulation phase right now. And so I will be looking to buy, if we can get to the bottom of the channel, we're going to have to jump over to the uh, trading view chart. I'm going to be looking to buy it around the bottom of this channel, which happens to be 0 0.0013. But one great thing we see here is this bearish crossover on the stochastic of the one-day chart. You see that? That means that we're going to go down uh, further, okay? Price may stay, but we need the stochastic to go all the way down below the 20 line, when we go below the 20 line, that is my signal to start loading up and waiting for the next cycle up. All right. So this current cycle up didn't produce too big of a bump in price. OK, if there was prior chart history here, we would see a huge cycle up here and then back down on the stochastic. I'm waiting for the next one. When that next one happens, I load up and then I sell on the next market cycle peak. If we come down here to the four hour, we can zoom in and we see this green box that I've made that has a base of 0 0.0013. That's the bottom price of the price activity that we have on trading view, which is not complete. Jump into the one hour and then blowing this up a little bit, we can see price just jumping up and down within this channel and it should probably stay within that channel for a while. Volume, when we go back to the CoinGecko site, we see that the 24-hour trading volume is 40,000. This volume has been anywhere from 40,000 to 120,000 lately. And we have a nice market cap of only $1.7 million. All right? And we are already maxed out with the total supply. So max supply, total supply, circuiting supply is all identical. That's beautiful when combined with the fact that we have a fair launch project. That means no more tokens flooding in, nothing, no external uh, sources can tank the price. That's why I think this could be prime for a pump. Will it pump again? I don't know. It's going to depend on the popularity. It's going to depend on if this community can talk this thing up and get the excitement rolling again. Uh, and if it does start to get exciting, if the community starts chatting it up, I'm going to roll this thing. I don't care about the fact that it's a meme or is it a scam? Is it not a scam? I don't get involved in the drama. I just ride the public sentiment. And all cryptocurrencies, especially memes, have price activity that is based on human emotional behavior. I hope you write that down and learn from it because human emotional behavior is what makes the chart patterns which are predictable because we all go through the same phases. We go through discovery, interest, uh, rising interest, and then we get into infatuation, which is the markup phase. And then we get into panic and fear, which is the distribution phase, ending in depression when everyone gives up. Those emotions are what create chart patterns. It is why the Fibonacci sequence works and many other chart indicators that we use. Um, that's a fact. As long as humans have uh, emotions, as long as we are ruled by our limbic system, our caveman brain, 
we're going to have technical analysis and predictable charts. Write that down because you need to learn that and you can thank me later. Hopefully you'll learn that sooner than later. Um, let me know if this has been educational and if you appreciate this type of content. And also, I want you to go to my community tab and vote because I am starting the paid membership group soon. And it looks like people are liking the $50 price point and the $100 price point. The $75 price point doesn't have much interest. I'm considering doing a two-tier where you could decide 50 or 100. And for the 100, that will include lots of private videos where I give tons of uh, information, educational information, and my live trading picks. When I make purchases and sales, sell orders, I'm going to let you know. And for the entry group, it will be giving you the micro cap gems that I spend tons of time digging up low cap potential micro cap gem projects that you can trade. And what you'll be paying for is my research or due diligence. It is not that you are guaranteed to make money. But if you want to save time from trying to find projects that you can trade, you're paying me for researching, digging up the possibilities, and handing you all of the details so you don't have to spend hours hunting like I do every day. It is not paid trades so you can be guaranteed to make money. So keep that in mind. If you're interested, jump over to the community tab, cast your vote, and then I'll be wrapping it up and putting a package together for you. So that's about all I've got for now, but I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to the Crypto Pro channel. I do appreciate all of the support and the super thanks. I do have a Miro update coming your way because there's a big, fat, juicy swing trade that is potentially coming down the pike for Miro. And I'll let you know where I think it is in the, uh, you know, the phases of where it goes uh, as far as price development <clears throat> and what's going to happen on this next bullish channel. With that, I am completely and absolutely done. This is Carlton. Uh... Let's see here. I've got to do my exit. I got to find. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, this is Carlton. <laughs> and I am out.